All right, so here's my little uh, scooter. So I just put these uh, tires on. These are uh, Angels, Pirelli Angels. Let's see, Angel scooter tires. All right, 120, 80, 16 in the rear. So let's see, Pirelli's and in the front. Uh, obviously, Angel, Angel scooter, 180. 16 So you know that they're still new because you see I see all the virgin whiskers So I have about 100 miles on these, you know approximately uh, t So today is actually I'm taking them on I think two rides. I think this is the second ride I've taken on or maybe was the third. I think it's the second ride because today I rode about 50 miles The last time I also rode about 50 miles. So yeah, so that's two rides you still see the the whiskers, the virgin whiskers on them, right? All right. And you see uh, the chicken strip. That's uh, it's about the, the width of my pinky nail. So that's like what, maybe three eighths of an inch. It's a little bit less than half. Uh, so 100 miles, and these tires. You know, normally, the angel tires, uh, or at least in the Pirelli. Brand. The Angel basically means um, they're like sport touring tires. If they were Diablos, that means they were they're like sport sport tires, right? So so these are basically sport touring tires, but you know meant for a scooter. And the and the tread design is the same as their regular sport bike touring tires, sport touring tires. I'm not sure if the compound's the same or not. Uh, so that 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 part I, I don't know. Uh, but these tires, uh, again, I just went on a, so the first ride was a Birkin ride, just get, get the feel, and the second ride, but now I, I actually started pushing them, and I, man, these tires are, they, they feel really good, they grip really well, they, you know, it makes the scooter feel like a sport bike, I mean, um, I was able to lean and carve, and, and I, and I, and I was, it was completely predictable, I had no, uh, no worries, about them slipping out, they didn't feel like they're gonna slip out at all. Compared to the the OE tires, the previous tires with the uh, OE tires, they were thunder up. Uh, God, now I can't remember what the name, the number was. Thunder up always like tends to use whatever number. Uh, but these these ones are way better. Uh, they felt way better. Um, no slippage at all compared to the to the OE tires. Uh, so the carving and everything, it's just fantastic. Uh, very smooth. It, it rolls really nice. It's very comfortable too. Uh, feels more comfortable, I think. Uh, it's a very, very nice tire. Very nice riding tire. Very good performance too. Uh, the br braking and traction and uh, cornering and everything. Uh, you know, leaning over, leaning over, it leaned really well. Trans transitioning from you know, one side to the next, that's, you know, transitioning back and forth, it felt really good. Um, you know, the, the, the shape on them, they're pretty rounded, right? They're pretty round, you know, that, that, that crown. And that's this is pretty typical. Look at the shape there, right? It's, this is pretty typical of um, a sport touring tires. Sport touring tires has more of a, a, of a round round shape, whereas an actual sport bike tire is more triangle. So you see a little bit more right here, and right here is a little bit more flat, and that's some is somewhat of a point towards the, towards the uh, uh, the center. It's not really a point, but you know it's more pointy. Versus this one's more curved. Uh, yeah, so. So I'm so far I'm a big fan of these. Uh, so right now it's the middle of it's middle of uh, summer, you know, first week of July. So so I, I don't think I'm gonna see uh, winter with these because because uh, I'm planning on doing a road trip uh, in another month. Uh, going I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to go to Sturgis and uh, then after that when I come back I want to hit up Pikes Peak. Uh, so by the time I get back home these tires will probably be done. It's my guess, um, but I really don't know how much, how long they're gonna last. The original OE tires went um, almost uh, five and a half thousand miles. So, so since I have like almost, almost a hundred miles on this thing, right? So we now have a little bit over five and a half thousand miles on the bike. Um, so the OE tires last about you know five and a half thousand miles, but that's that's not with me. No, I bought this bike with five thousand miles on it, so. So I only put about 500 miles on it so far. Um, uh, so I'm not sure how long this is gonna last for me. Uh, I tend to 
uh, wear out tires faster than most people just because uh, I do most of my riding in the mountains and when you ride in the mountains, tires wear out faster than you do if, if you were not riding in the mountains. Uh, also, I tend to ride pretty fast, uh, pretty aggressive, so so my tires tend to wear out faster as well. Same with my same with my front brake pads. Usually my front brake pads tend to wear out pretty fast as well. Uh, uh, so, so far these tires are great. It's just a matter of uh, how long they will last. And, and again, I, you know, summertime, I have no idea how well they would do in the rain. Looking at the grooves, they they seem to be okay, you know, for rain, you know, because, you know, these sport touring tires, sport touring tires tend to do really well in the rain, um, you know, compared to, say, sport tires. You know, just the voids, you know, are the voids in here. There's more voids, so 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 they sip, uh water out better. But at the same time, when you have more voids, uh, you know, there's, you know, there's, empty space right there so that means less less surface area to contact the ground so basically a little bit less traction so that's the trade-off uh so two things i'm not i won't know is how well does it in the rain and also uh, i won't know how well how long these last until you know obviously uh, uh when they wear out so hopefully they they last uh a while i'm hoping they last you know five thousand miles uh but I'm not counting on that. Um, well, actually, usually when I go on a road trip, tires usually last longer for me on the road trip because on the road trip, not all you know, most of those miles are not uh, mountain, mountain, twisty mountain roads. Twisty mountain roads wear out tires really fast, but if it's not twisty mountain roads, then you know, they last longer. So, so they probably last, uh, probably I, I would say probably five thousand miles, I think. Um, but it was just strictly at using this at home and all the twisty mountain roads I normally ride. I think this tire will probably last. So I don't know. Most of my most of my tires only last me about three and a half thousand miles. Um, we'll, we'll, actually, with sport touring tires, depending on what bike I have, if I have like a, a high torque, high horsepower bike, they also sport touring tires only last me about three and a half thousand miles. Uh, but if I have on on a on a lower torque, lower power horsepower bike, uh, those could last me up to ten thousand or, or even more miles. Uh, so it just depends on which bike, you know, like for example, my Zero, when I, you know, when I have my Zero SR 2018, that thing has a hundred and I think like 115, somewhere around 115, give or take a few uh, pounds of torque. So that's as much torque as a Honda Goldwing. And the horsepower on the bike was, I think 70 horsepower. So not that, not that much horsepower, but I had a lot of torque. And when I was using sport touring tires on the bike, I wore those sport touring tires out in literally three and a half thousand miles. And that's also hold true with my Yamaha XSR 900 as well. That bike is also a torque monster, um, um, with decent horsepower. And also with that bike, when I when I use sport touring tires like the Road, you know Michelin Road Fours and such, uh, back then, you know, a few years ago, before the Road, before the Road, uh, the Road Six came out. Cause road Six just came out this year. Before even I think even before the Road Five came out. Uh, those tires, the road force only lasted me about three and a half thousand miles on that bike as well. Uh, but on other bikes, the same tires on other bikes that were lower, lower power, lower torque, they actually last me up to, to like around ten thousand miles. So, so it all depends on the bike and and you know riding conditions and such. But uh, anyways, um, yeah. So these are hopefully they will last me my road trip, you know, to Sturgis and Pikes Peak and back. Uh, I think they will, but I'm, I'm not. You know, I'm not 100% certain. I think they will though. All right, so that's my initial review. I will do another review once this, these things, oh, you know, got down to the wear indicator and they're, you know, I'm about to replace them. And I get back to you and you know how, how long they lasted me. All right, thanks for watching.